Hello and welcome to our first update from the Institute of Modern Taekwondo. First and foremost to all of our students and members and family and friends of the club. Uh, we appreciate your understanding of what's happening with the club at the moment. Obviously we have had to close all of our classes down and with the new government legislation we are going to abide by that and there is no group training unfortunately so it's all one on one from a distance personal training or training yourself at home and that's what this is all about. Whilst we're in this isolation period there are many things that you can do for yourself that will actually help keep you in, in check for training, keep you fit, keep your muscles mobile, and now is an excellent time to work on your own flexibility with restricted areas. So what we're going to actually work on in just a moment will be on a area of about two meters by two meters. So I'm going to be working on the fact that you're going to have a bit of area at home. Please move furniture if need be. The last thing I want you to do is kick your TV over, okay? Or your computer monitor, whatever it is you've got. So make sure you've got spacing. The flooring I'll be using is based on a two meter by two meter, but again, uh, that's up to you to adjust at home. We're gonna be working on some techniques and things that you can be doing at home to keep your fitness up. Now, also your flexibility is one of the key things I'd like you to focus on in this period of time. So we'll discuss some stretching techniques for you. But first and foremost, you will need to warm your body up. So the standard things you do in class, head movements, shoulder circles, bending at the waist, knee bends, all of those things you should be doing first and foremost. And then you can get into some of the light stretching. Now in stretching, you have two formats you can use. You have static stretching, which is stationary, and dynamic, which is with swinging techniques. Now we always start by warming up first, then we move into some light static stretching, go into your actual dynamic stretching, and then you can actually do some more static stretching again. The more you do, the better. Now, 20, 30, and 40 seconds is your, your key times to try and hold a pose. So if you are stretching, don't just hold it for three to five seconds and then let go. You do need to go for much longer. So that's where it's very important that you warm up first and foremost. We'll do some demonstration in just a moment. Other things that you need to focus on, part of your curriculum, your requirements, are to do push-ups, also sit-ups. So we're going to show you the correct form and some ways that you can have some fun and some variation of those to actually help hopefully build some muscle and you know, to keep your strength up whilst you're actually not able to do normal training. Everything we're doing is without a partner. Obviously, we can't spar, we can't set spar, we can't practice self-defense. Patterns are the other thing that we've been asked about. We will be starting to upload a whole lot of the patterns uh, and go from there. Well, the first one we'll focus on will be our push-up. Very first thing is to make sure that the back is straight. For the ladies, you can do it from the ground off your knees with your back straight. Backside should not be up. Make sure that the chest and chin approach the floor and repeat. A variation to this one is called a tricep push-up. So it'll assist with your punches where you make a triangle with your hands, get your chest right over the top. So the focus is on the rear of the arms. Another great push-up. Make sure the legs are a little bit wider for this one for support and stability. The next ones to focus on will be your sit-ups and crunches. We're also going to move into what's called a V-sit. So first and foremost, a few warm-ups. Work on hands to knees. Try and get the shoulders to come off the floor. From there, you can actually start sitting up further, about halfway. So you're not coming up all the way. <laughs> Don't want you to come up to here where the muscles then relax. Keep them under attention to about 45 degrees. Next up is V-sits. Legs extended, arms above. Hands and feet to match at the top. Slow controlled. To work your abs through. Next we'll get into some punches and some stances. Now these basics we normally do up and down the hall can be performed in a stationary position by utilizing a horse riding stance. So if you accommodate out and just pivot across into a forward stance, ensuring one leg is dead straight, the other is bent, you could be performing a lower section block. Reload and block pivoting onto the other leg, loading and blocking. Moving it into combinations, lower block, raising block, reverse. Have some fun. Make up different combinations you'd like to try. Standing in a stationary position. Make it fun. As we can't spar, 
Best thing for you to do now is to try and at least pretend to spar. So, you can shadow box, throw combinations, keeping within your two meter radius. Don't hit the furniture. Make sure you move it beforehand. But bounce around, pretend that you're blocking. Utilize your forward leg. Try to do some junk kicks if you have the ability, okay? Bit of shadow boxing, keep your cardio up. Try and do them in lots of three. So two minute round for three. Six minutes of shadow boxing, I think you'll find you'll be sweating at the end. Keep that one working. Final thing that we'll work upon here will be your basic stretching. I mentioned at the start about your two different styles. So we have static stretching. So essentially legs straight, stretching. Keeping the legs straight holding the poses 20, 30, or 40 seconds, the more experienced you are. From those positions there, you can work into sitting down positions. So you'd be able to do static stretching, sitting forward, working individual legs, also twisting from one side to the other. Don't start these ones hard, work into them gently. The longer you hold, the more the muscles will relax and stretch. But if you do this every second day, not daily, Allow your muscles to recover and then the second day. So about every two days for stretching. This will actually help really lift your stretching ability. So they're static stretches. You've done lots of them in class. Single legs, double legs. You know the different ones you should be working upon, please do those. So these are the dynamic stretches done from a forward stance position to start with. Front raising kick. We all know those. So don't bend the knee. Keep it nice and straight. If you have a chair, you can do side raising kick, holding it in a side kick position. Don't let the toes go up. Keep the heel higher than the toes. You can also do rear raising kick. Lean forward slightly, bring the knee up, and stretch the leg behind. These three formats, front, side, and rear, will keep your hips loose. Right, the final thing I'd like to focus on for you to be able to do at home in a confined area is actually now working and focusing on a particular technique of my liking, which happens to be forward leg kicks. So, we're doing it towards one side. We're going to start with a side kick motion. So from here, our rear leg will step towards the forward foot. The forward knee will lift as high as possible. All three techniques we're about to do will come from the same position. So step up, lift the knee, kick, pull back, and down. This time we'll do the same thing, but with a turning kick. Step up, lift the knee, turning kick motion, and down. Same technique, same lift, with a hooking kick. Step up, lift the knee, hook, and down. Then put those into combination. So you may do a side kick, turning kick. Side kick, hook kick. All three. All three done twice, so six, te six techniques at once. Etc. Have some fun with it, but step up, lean back as you lift the leg. Don't try and keep your body upright. You need to balance the weight of your leg. So step and lean you'll find it much easier. Have some fun with it. Well, we hope this has been of benefit to you. Do try and practice these techniques and the exercises at home on a regular basis. Remember, it's up to you to keep training. I can't make you from here, nor can your instructor. We can only encourage you. We're only as good as what we put in. So if you work now, you'll come up on the other side much, much better. So please do some of this at home, okay? Uh, and make it fun, vary it up a little bit, but there'll be a lot more of these updates to come. And I know some of our other instructors are also working on some as well. So keep your eyes tuned to our Facebook page uh, and we'll see you on the other side.